All right, welcome to Uzulu Garage today. Today's video, it's, it's gonna be on this 2020 Ram on uh, the four wheel drive auto. Right here, it's snowing today here in Michigan. And we'll figure, let's try it out and show you guys what it uh, does. And basically when you engage it, it uh, helps sense when it's slippery out to lose traction, your four wheel drive system. So basically it's not all, on all the time, just when you lose traction. Let's check it out. We gotta unlock it. It's snowing pretty good today. So basically right here you got four settings for your uh your system. You got two-wheel drive, which you're always in. I'm already in uh four-wheel auto. I was already out today messing with it. And then we'll put it back in two wheel and then you have four wheel drive high basically that stays in four wheel drive and you can switch that when you're driving also and then you have four wheel drive low which for that you're going to be slowing down to maybe about three miles an hour or stop put it neutral and then engage it not that neutral up here you're going to use your dial put it neutral then four wheel drive low sorry about that now we're today we're just going to be using a four wheel drive auto we'll test it out on the snow on the slippery roads it's i don't know it's pretty much like all wheel drive but it's going to engage when you lose traction now if you're losing traction and you do try to put it in four wheel drive auto it won't go in until basically you're not losing uh, traction the best thing to do is when you're not losing traction you think you need it go ahead and put it in four wheel drive auto right there and my silverado used to have that 16 silverado we're great i use that most of the time for snow like this right here where it's not so deep and it helped out a lot for uh driving in uh, those conditions slippery conditions you, of course be careful it's not gonna you know help you all out pretty much when it's on ice you're gonna slide of course you know stop and on that nothing gonna help you on ice pretty much so uh all right in a minute well let's go uh test it out on some of the roads on uh on uh Grozio island and i'll show you guys a little bit of footage on the bridge also because we're going to take the bridge to leave the island got to take the wife to work today the weather uh so messed up i went into work and uh they called the day so we can't work we've been basically working outside so we got to come home and then make this video what are you guys doing today and then I can always do some future videos on all the other systems. If you guys like, let me know in the comments. Plus, too, if you have the park assist right here, your sensors. I had to turn mine off because of snow that's on there. It was going crazy when I was parking at work. I had to shut it off. It basically, man, you know, hits your brakes, won't let you move. And um, I have to clean that. I figure out throw that in there, guys. All right, we're going to. Drop the wife off to work. Right now I'm in two wheel auto. And then we'll try it out. Right now we'll leave it in two wheel drive. Let's see the, how we'll lose traction. We got traction controls on. That helps out. So let's put it in auto. And we'll try it out. Got a lot of traffic coming up. Snowing pretty good. I'm showing it. All right, we got it. Four wheel auto. Let's go a little bit of on the snowy road. It's not too bad. You know, it's not deep. We're supposed to get about three to six inches today here in Michigan. And there's the color of your house that you want. See it? Same color as we painted the door. Sorry about that, guys. We just drew my house. You see that? Mm -hmm. Up here, we're on a dirt road. We're going to go left on a dirt road here on an island. Check it out. All right. See how it stops. It's still sliding when you're stopping. A little bit of ice. Still gotta be a little careful. I don't want to go too fast because we're in a bunch of houses around. And I don't feel like taking out a mailbox. But this way, everyone's leaving the island on the main road. It's gonna be hard to turn left to go to the bridge. This way it's a couple minutes longer, but uh, takes you through the dirt roads and then uh, 
takes you to the light and you just go straight over to the bridge. Okay, I'm doing about 25. It's holding pretty good. We got good traction. I'm up to 28. You guys can see the scenery on the island. Some of the houses right there. Some big ones. There's a lot of houses built here in the 50s. Bridge was slippery earlier, so we'll be taking that. There we go. Lost a little traction, but it gained it back. This area right here on the islands, uh, they got trails where you can walk and stuff like that. A lot of people park around here and they'll go for a walk in the trails. We'll have to, when it warms up, we'll have to do that and make a video showing the trail. A lot of people bike on the island too. So I'll have to get some bikes. When we go cruise on the island, we can show the island more. traction for the four wheel drive auto is working pretty good maybe one day when it gets deeper snow we'll do the four wheel drive high that could be a, another video all right now we're gonna turn left and go to the bridge Okay, you right there, gave it gas, you can feel the front grab. So we got great traction. The back end didn't get looser. So we're good. All right, we're on the Grove Zeal Toll Bridge. You can see the Detroit River right there. Check it out, it's pretty good. Nice scenery when you're going to work in the morning or getting out for it, it's nice to see. This is like, when the road conditions are like this, it's great. It's perfect for the four-wheel drive auto. And then you're, at least that way, you're not basically locked in a four-wheel drive high the whole time. So when you need traction, it will kick in for you. And um, it works out pretty good. And then you don't have to worry about it being in, like I said, four-wheel drive high all the time. Just leave it in the auto and uh, let us do its thing. Now for the snow is real deep, a little bit icier out, then you can keep it in high. Because uh, four-wheel drive high, you basically want it to be, you know, covered with snow. And so, you're, it will slip. It's not good for a hard pavement on a four-wheel drive high. The lows, the four-wheel drive auto is great for weather conditions like this, where it kicks on when you need it. There's a, traffic's kind of heavy, so it's kind of hard to really give it some gas and, uh, we want to drive safe. Most people are going to be driving a little bit slow. My car would have been all over the place. Yeah, it would have. Her car would have been all over. It was all today. Got lucky. Take the wife to work. She wants to drive in this.
as you can see on that it got on a little bit to uh show if it got uh slippery the front uh kicked in and we were good to go would mount the cameras on the vehicle but I'm afraid with it being wet and cold I might lose my camera it might fall out I have to uh, look into some suction cups maybe put a tether on it so I don't lose my camera once we get back on the island we'll uh, take a ride by around the by the waterfront and we'll end the video soon so yeah so pretty much four-wheel drive autos work pretty good if you guys have this on your truck uh, let, let me know um, how do you like it and, do, and what you use it for if you use it like for conditions like this when it's raining heavy uh, let us all know so we can all get some tips and tricks from you guys all right plus two first time here at Uzulu garage we do auto detailing videos testing products how to's auto show videos in the Detroit area and a little bit of auto repair on our own vehicles stuff like that we feature our own vehicles on our channel and uh, if something you guys would like to join uh, hit that subscribe button and comment and plus two on the detailing videos and everything we like to learn from you guys we don't know everything about detailing we just enjoy doing it and, and we have a few customers that we detail their vehicles and it's really great to learn from you guys in the comments we have a couple guys that will comment their tips and tricks and it helps everybody out that's what we want the channel to be about back again on the island a lot of traffic today oh, on the island today traffic Getting out to West Road. Right there at the Detroit River. Let's sit down. Let's it right here. So far we've been enjoying living on the girls here. We love it. The quietness, stuff like that. Being close to the river to go take a walk. really big houses here too we'll have to ice her out we'll do some more videos on the island showing it features of the island check that out right there. still have it in four wheel drive auto only doing about 20 miles an hour keep it in slow It's not too bad for being slippery. All right. right there's the river. We're heading to my house now, heading home. We're not far from the river. There we go. get to show you guys the features show our area that we moved to ah, stuff like that you know it's pretty cool so I hope you guys enjoyed this one 
All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So at the end leaks, I'm going to have some other videos. You guys check them out. Make sure you comment on those also. And thanks for watching this one. And I got to love all my new subscribers and old subscribers. You guys have a great day. Later.